Welcome back, music collectors, crate diggers, and record collectors. This is Ant on Music. I'm your host, Ant, and this is part two of our 2023 wrap-up show. Uh, so we're going to look at some stuff that we've seen in the past few weeks that I've uh, already shown you guys, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on those. Just going to briefly talk about them, and then we're going to get into other things that came out earlier in the year or weren't out uh prior to me mentioning them in, in the last video, uh, the wrap-up video part one. So we're gonna start off with some prog stuff, all right? We've already spoken about this early in the year, The Flower Kings, uh, Look At You Now. This is a great album. Uh, nice to have a little uh, autographed postcard from the band. Um, so you had that. This is a great album to check out if you dig uh, symphonic prog. Uh, these guys are fantastic. You know, the first single, Beginner's Eyes, and, you know, on and on. Like I said, don't want to spend a tremendous amount of time on stuff we've already talked about. If you want to hear about this album, go check out, you know, the older videos. Uh, next up, something I drove everybody crazy with for a long time. Several different versions of this album, Harmony Codex, all with the same track listing, just uh, different variants as far as color and, and things like that. Uh, Wonderful hearing anything more about Stephen Wilson or any of his projects as we, we move through this today. Um, hint, hint. But the Harmony Codex, you know, great album, Beautiful Scarecrow, Staircase Infinities, um, I'm sorry, uh, Impossible Tightrope. Uh, the Harmony Codex, which is based on the short story from his book that he put out last year. Um, definitely check this out if you haven't. This is in my, uh, in, in my top albums of the year. Member of Yes. Trevor Rabin's Rio album. Uh, this was a fantastic release. Uh, you know, got his fantastic guitar work as well as his uh, excellent vocals and uh, stellar production. Really good album. Trevor Rabin, Rio. Uh, probably one of my two favorite live albums to come out this year. Uh, artists that I just discovered this year and I really dig them a lot. That would be Neil Francis. This is Francis Comes Alive. Uh, autographed edition purchased directly from the artist I uh, can't say enough good things about Neil Francis uh, like I've always said when everyone asks me what's he like well if you dig your rock and roll with a dose of funk and soul this is the dude right here straight out of Chicago Neil Francis definitely give this a listen to and go back and listen to his um, his studio albums as well uh, Jimmy Buffett Jimmy Buffett whose birthday uh, just passed Christmas Day um, his final album, you know, while he was making it, he knew he was uh, not doing well. And this is really like a retrospective of his entire career as far as style-wise goes. Um, you know, fantastic, fantastic tracks on here penned by Jimmy and his writing partners. Uh, it's a it's a good listen and, you know, it brings you back to different points of his career and I really dig it. This one's called Equal Strains on All Part. And anything I've shown you thus far has been stuff that I've had in prior videos. Um, next up... We have Big Big Train, Ingenious Devices. Um, you've heard me speak about the death of their uh, lead singer, David Longley, which was just a little over two years ago. Um, this album gathers together some of their longer tracks and also has a live version of Atlantic Cable with uh, their new lead singer on it as well. Uh, East Coast Racer, Book of Ingenious Devices, Brooklyn's and Voyager definitely worth listening to love big big train uh i'm really curious to see where they go now that david long is no longer part of the band um so we have that next up gonna change gears quite a bit uh i was always a big fan of the new wave of british heavy metal all right the n-w-o-b-h-m and one of the crazier bands in my opinion that came out of that you know you had bands like saxon and maiden and priest but one band that I always dug, and they, I don't think they ever really got the credit that they deserved, these guys, Raven. Me and my buddy from high school, uh, Andy Romeo, were like obsessed with these guys. Um, it's nice to see that they're back, the Gallagher brothers. They they don't have Rob Wackel Hunter on drums anymore, but you know they do have this guy, Mike Heller. Uh, albums called All Hell's Breaking Loose. Uh, this is very typical of what you would see when you got an old school Raven album, you know, the artwork. Um, and, you know, it's just a basic black album. 
cool labels on it. You know, it has the picture from the back on there. Uh, and pretty much everything on here is that excellent Raven sound. It's not exactly thrash and it's not power metal. Uh, I remember when they came up, they used to describe it as athletic rock. It's kind of like a, a precursor to thrash. It's got the energy and it's got the, you know, the angst, but it, it's really not full on thrash like say Slayer or Metallica. Uh, you know, Medieval, Surf the Tsunami, Turn of the Screw, Title Track, uh, Far Side, Desperate Measures, Victory's Call, Edge of a Nightmare, Invasion, and Go for the Gold. Um, you know, it's great to have the Gallagher brothers back and releasing new stuff. This is available on Silver Lining Records. I, I definitely advise you to, to check this one out. I really love these guys. They're fantastic. Really thrilled to, to like stumble across this uh, this summer and find out that they were back. Really excellent, excellent album. Uh, next up, what we have is uh, changed gears in a totally opposite direction now. Paul Simon, Seven Psalms. All right, um, this album, okay, uh, is you know Paul on his own he's been solo for a long time and you can hear the age in his voice but the the whole song cycle here is pretty incredible uh it's basically supposed to be listened to as one song and um you know you just have uh the the track names you know they're broken up is the lord uh love is like a braid my professional opinion your forgiveness tear of volcanoes the sacred harp and wait and um you know it comes with a small booklet Seven Psalms, got the artwork there from the front cover. Also inside, you've got the lyrics and liner notes right there. So, got that. Uh, this was an, an Amazon exclusive uh, color. Kind of a funky, not exactly Coke bottle green, but pretty close to it. Um, got the artwork there, front and back. Check that out. Um, and... The song cycle itself, it, you know, it's like this Paul's gotten older. This this pretty heavy album, it, it deals with um, mortality. You know, we're all going to face it. No one's going to be here forever. Uh, but he does it in such a thought-provoking and insightful way. It really is a, a great album to listen to, uh, especially, you know, when you're mellowing out. Good album to throw on uh, and give a listen to. Uh, I like changing gears on you guys. So the next thing we have... This, Catatonia, Sky Void of Stars. Um, these guys are phenomenal. It's like, I, I always think of them as, um, what if The Cure did like doom metal or, you know, like, uh, you know, dark metal. You know, the, this would be it. Uh, you know, led by Jonas Renski. You have the band there, the back cover. Uh, as well, you also have a giant poster that comes in here as well. And I'll show you that. You have two of the band members there. I'll start with the front. You got the front, the back, and this is going to be fun to unfold and get it all on camera. You got that. that and again so you have the lyrics whole and entire in a poster side on one side and then all the band members wow this is huge uh all the band members and the cover art right there as well uh so that's pretty you know Nice little, nice little add-on that they have in there with the album. Uh, nice to have the lyrics for uh, someone my age to be able to read them that way. As far as the uh, the records go, you know, you have more additional artwork from the uh, series of art they have for this. And also on the labels as well, you have it there. And it's, you know, basic black heavyweight vinyl. Um, show the other sleeve. It's got more of the artwork of the ravens or crows, whatever you want to call them on there. Uh, and this is a good album. I mean, I, I first got turned on to Catatonia years ago um, when I went and saw Opeth, saw Opeth live, and uh, I was blown away. 
you know, I was completely blown away by them. I'd known a couple of songs, but wasn't really into them. But uh, once I saw them live, they really were a phenomenal, phenomenal live act. And, you know, it's like whenever they come back, if I'm able to catch them, I try and catch them because they really are a great band to catch live. And they're, they're great in studio as well. Um, next up, we've got like three or four more things to go through. Uh, we'll do one of the little discs, the only little disc we have this week. All right. Peter Gabriel, I owe. As you know, it's like I, I've talked about the... Uh, the light and the dark albums, which were, you know, light, you know, bright side mix was the pink, dark side mix was the blue. This is the green, all right? And what makes this different than the other two, it has both the light side and the dark side. And in addition to that, it has what they call the inside mixes, and that's on a Blu-ray with the other two mixes. Just like the albums, it has like a mini OBI strip there, you know, to keep that safe. I'm putting that in with the CDs and the and Blu-ray, so you have that all there. And you know, this was definitely one of my favorite albums of the year. I like the idea that he was releasing track after track each week, excuse me, each full moon. And when it came time for the end of the year, you had the complete album as a whole. Uh, and you know, some tracks I like better than others, just like any other album that comes out. But uh, you know, for me, the the big ones were Four Kinds of Horses and Playing for Time. Uh, the title track, uh, Live and Let Live, and This Is Home. You know, if you haven't heard this, definitely uh, go and check it out. Uh, it's definitely a worthwhile album to pick up, no matter what version you get. Um, this is a great way to have everything all at once. You know, if you got a CD player, you know, check it out. Definitely worthwhile. Uh, coming up on, on some other stuff, some big ones. This is one we haven't seen before. Great to have the Pumpkins back. I kind of got a little preview of this uh, album early, well, actually late summer last year when I caught them on tour. And um, this is called Autumn, a rock opera in three acts. And it is a monster. It is uh, four slabs of vinyl. Uh, we'll take a look at the interior. And I've got some pictures of the band. The artwork for the uh, for the album itself as well, and final two pictures of the main band members. There's a lot of uh, orchestration on this album. It is huge production wise. Uh, aside from the vinyl, it comes with this card with the credits all there, and then when you go through the the slabs of vinyl themselves, it's pretty basic. You know, it's like it breaks down what act it is as far as the um, as far as the album's concerned, uh, you know, act one, two, and three. And the vinyl itself is, you know, basic heavyweight black. Everything is now heavyweight vinyl nowadays. Uh, so, you know, no reason for me to go through uh, three more slabs that look just like this. You know, you get the idea. Um, and, you know, the, the first track, Empire, really classic Pumpkins track, first single that they released. Uh, and there's other fantastic tracks on this as well uh if you didn't know it was out you know it does carry a heavy hefty price tag but it's certainly worth a listen um especially if you're a pumpkins fan and i am you know obviously i wouldn't have all these albums and wouldn't be naming it as one of the best of the year uh and definitely worth a listen with smashing pumpkins autumn all right pulling up on the final two three things that i have for you uh definitely Definitely, definitely. Uh, if I had to, to rank albums, this is definitely my top three for 2023. And this is Riverside. Uh, the album is called Identity. We didn't look at it. It came out real early in the year before I was producing these videos. And uh, this is, you know, Marius Duda, who, you know, I've talked about over the past few weeks about his uh, his release, Afraid. This is his, uh, his main act. Uh, he also does work as Lunatic Soul, and he has been releasing albums under his own name as well. Uh, Identity is a great, great album. Uh, this is artwork that's typical of the band. They're from Poland, and they're a prog, you know, prog band. They get labeled as prog metal. Uh, I would say they're more prog than, than metal. Um, this album has a real 80s vibe to it, like with the synth sounds, and I got to see them live on this tour in, in uh, Manhattan. And I gotta say, it doesn't seem like anybody I've seen in the past probably 10 years is having as much fun as uh, Mike Lepage, their keyboard player. 
that dude just loves life. You can tell he's he's totally into it. He to totally engages with the fans. Uh, Maris Duda, vocalist and frontman, is is great. The whole band is is phenomenal. I have excellent musicians. Uh, top to bottom, this album is just fantastic. Uh, you know, the first single is also the first track, "Friend or Foe." Uh, Land My Blast, Big Tech Brother, Post Truth, The Place Where I Belong, I'm Done With You, Self Aware, Age of Anger, and Together Again to round it out. Uh, to take a look, you know, also Basic Black. Uh, I actually had ordered this on orange vinyl, but the production got held up on it. And I said, screw it. I want to listen to this album. I'm a big fan of Riverside. And I think they deserve more respect and attention. And they get especially here in the united states uh over in europe they get a, a lot more credit than they do here uh they've been around over 20 years they produced a bunch of albums and they're all excellent uh if you have never heard of them i say give them a listen you may want to start here uh you know they've also had a re-release this year of uh, song of new generation slaves which is a great album of theirs uh wasteland i mean i could go on and on about how phenomenal these guys are you know and definitely worth checking out riverside friend or foe give them a listen so the last thing i have for you this comes for uh via the courtesy of our friends over at burning shed in europe and this took a long time to get to me it was hung up in the uh in the post uh when it comes to certain bands i'll, I'll order directly from the band uh, Burning Shed always does a great job with their releases as far as uh, the way they package things, the way they, you know, the, the way they give you little extras that, uh, you know, that kind of make you forgive them if there is a delay. And usually they're pretty spot on with delivery. Um, but with this, this is, we'll go through all the little goodies that they gave before we get to the album. So a little uh, magnet there, the Burning Shed uh artwork if you can see on the side of the shed there there's a little burning shed logo and a coaster as well uh with the burning shed logo on the back side and you know a little bit of self-promotion they got a postcard here um with recent releases you know so that covers them covering themselves uh the big gimme on on ordering from burning shed for this release uh and it's the last box set we're going to look at this year um it's actually two box sets and it is one of my favorite bands of all time porcupine tree yes another stephen wilson project oh well uh and the big gimmies on that were this and this is the, the what caused the delay uh porcupine tree closure continuation tour 2022 uh, recorded live in Amsterdam and uh, so this is a record slip mat all right for those that only have CDs this is what you put on your uh, turntable uh, and there was a delay in production on these which of course caused a delay in production uh, with them packing everything up and sending it out uh, they also which I wasn't expecting this but they included this little card that's autographed by the porcupine three uh stephen wilson richard barbieri and phenomenal amazing all go-to drummer gavin harrison so you have the cover art there signed by the three guys in the band it's like that was supposed to be limited edition i think when they had the delay in production uh they had extra signs so they included them in uh, I was real happy to open this up when I got it and, and find it in there. So let's take a look at the box sets themselves. So this is the, the four disc set, okay? Uh, and it's from the, the last tour that they did in support of Closure Continuation, which was one of my top albums of last year, but that was long before I started making these videos. Uh, so uh, this is the, the live collection and you know it contains the two sets of discs so you have this cover and right there we see the uh the blu-ray all right uh discs three and four so you have the uh the blu-ray and um the 
yeah, two Blu-rays, two DVDs, two Blu-rays, two CDs, excuse me. Uh, and you know, you have the track listing there. And if you even if you only get the standalone Blu-ray of this, of the concert, it's worthwhile. I saw it live and it's it's an amazing light show, incredible sound, beyond incredible musician musicianship, uh, really top notch. Uh, here's the cover from the two disc set. And this was released on Music for Nations and Sony Music uh, in conjunction uh, together as one. And it also comes with this really massive, massive book, uh, live shots from the show. And you can see the band there. And it's, it's kind of like, a, a, I guess the best way to put it, it's like kind of like a tour book on steroids. Uh, I have the tour book from this tour when I saw them at Radio City. And uh, this is actually even more than that. Uh, you know, really is, you know, got some excellent pictures of the band captured live on, on tour in Amsterdam. Uh, excellent, excellent, uh, uh, you know, box set. Uh, and I also got it in the vinyl edition. So you have it there, you know, also for Music for Nations and Sony, a lot of people were complaining about the track listing sticker that is actually put on the back of the case as it being crooked. I mean, really, if you're going to complain about that, you, you know, you definitely got some first world problems there. Uh, and this is four slabs of vinyl, all right? Uh, and, you know, breaks up the tracks that are on the Blu-ray and on the CDs into, you know, the appropriate amount. Cool thing about this, you know, it's like, you know, once again, more artwork, all right? And crystal clear vinyl. You know, DJ Nightmares, I used to call when I used to be uh, working on air. There's nothing worse than trying to cue up something on, on uh, clear vinyl. I always think back to uh, the Flaming Lips, and uh, I can't remember which album it was, but they put one out on clear vinyl, and it drove me bananas to try and cue things up on there. And the interior of all the boxes here, slip cases here for the uh, albums is the blue that's on the outside. Take a quick look at all of these, you know, just to give you an idea of the artwork, you know, front and back. You know, if you're unfamiliar with the, the last album, this is a great way to visit it, you know, listen to it live. Uh, on this particular slab of vinyl on, on you know, side C and D, uh, you have Dignity, which is a great track, and in my mind, uh, kind of is like almost like a, a sister track or brother track to uh, Happy Returns, which was on a, uh, on a previous previous album of Stephen Wilson's solo collection. Uh, you got Sound of Muzak and Last Chance to Evacuate Planet Earth before it's recycled. This is one of my favorite sides on the entire collection because I absolutely love those three songs. Um, and finally, you know, the last of the four, you have that. So that is everything. That is a wrap for 2023. I already know there's a few things coming out the beginning part of next year that I'm really looking forward to uh, sharing with everyone. Uh, you know, as I always say, you know, I thank you for your time. Thank you for stopping in, checking out what I've got to show you. Uh, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below. Love to have you here. As I always say, join the colony. You know, ants live in a colony and I am ant, and I want you to join the colony. Uh, leave a comment, something you like, something you didn't like, maybe something you want me to explore in the future on one of these, uh, one of these little episodes that I throw together every week or so. It would be great. Uh, hope everyone had fantastic, uh, fantastic Christmas and I wish everyone a safe, healthy and happy new year and can't wait to see you all in 2024. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Peace. One love. Music.